I wasn't planning on making a video, hence why I look so disheveled and tired, because I was about to go to bed, when all of a sudden, my Xbox now can no longer run Retro Arc. This is bullshit. Granted, I, you know, get my ROMs from buying the bootleg consoles off of, you know, Amazon and stuff. But I legally purchased all those, or the ones I, you know, don't have. I have copies of these games, you know, so it's fine for me to get the archived versions off of them. I do this legally. I encourage emulation. It preserves things. There are so many games I can't get my hands on any other way, especially old licensed games. You know how many of these Activision games... Like, uh, well, Deadpool's a bad example, but Spider-Man, Friend or Foe, Hellboy, Science of Evil, you know, the Adventure Time game, the Green Lantern movie tie-in game. How many movie tie-in games you cannot play? We had the whole thing with Aliens vs. Predator and the Simpsons game for decades before I was born. It, you know, has kind of gotten cleared up. We need to start doing you know, emulation. Xbox One S. It was amazing when I found this out. I loved it. I made videos using this. I played the little Nikki video game using this. This is... This is complete bullshit. Now I have to use... If I want to play it, I have to use this bootleg dongle thing that doesn't play things properly. And I have to tinker with things like this now. I'm back to this, which I can't record properly for you guys. So I'm going to be stuck with the same mobile games over and over. I reduced to like the littlest of variety because so many games are garbage these days. I haven't bought in very many Xbox One games from the past couple of generations. One, they're shutting down Xbox One S support. I was about to go get Game of Air 3 and it doesn't work on an S. Uh, I'm not going to buy a new Xbox anytime soon. It's dumb. This whole thing is so dumb. I, like, I I have a Raspberry Pi, but that is a pain to carry around, and I've had too many problems with the generic cords snapping on me, but the others are way too expensive. So having that, it, it, hell, I paid 120 to get that thing running. I shouldn't have to pay $120 to run some N64 games and PS1 games. I have a PS1, but good luck finding the discs. Most of the are rotten. Or you need to find a retro store. I have one, but they don't have every game. I can't play the original PS1 Spider-Man game. I love that game. It's awesome. I, I could just list all the games that you can't play. There are so many of my 360 games I love, but I haven't been able to touch because it's a pain in the ass to go from console to console. This is actually pissing me off. Let us emulate F Xbox. Send in reports to Xbox. Let us emulate. Spread the message. Please.